Hello there, this is Matthew Upton from Roffers Ocean Fishing Forecasting Service. Today, I'm an analyst here at Roffs. Today's May 24th, 2022. And we're gonna take, we're gonna do another edition of the, showing you guys the overall conditions from satellite imagery, sea surface temperature and ocean color chlorophyll of the Southeast United States off the Gulf Stream. Just to give you an overview to prepare you for this week and what to look for and how the conditions are looking. So, first of all, looking at the sea surface temperature imagery, like the red and the oranges are warmer water. The you know your yellows and greens are cooler water. And we did have some difficulty with clouds the last couple of days, so we had to use our experience, follow the conditions, and to dial in where the main eddies and features are. But what we notice is there's some clouds in here, there's some clouds up in this area, but we were able to locate a nice eddy that's offshore of the Georgetown, South Carolina area, creating a nice filament inshore in the Georgetown hole and just north of the hole that did produce some mahi and a few marlin last week. I know there's a blue marlin tournament coming up out of Georgetown and this is something to keep keep an eye on throughout the week. Now there's some counter, there's some clockwise rotation. There's an eddy here. And then there's also some rotation out this way as this as stuff goes this way. And there's another eddy in this location here, pushing in a nice filament off of Cape Fear. There is a eddy up off of Oh, uh, somewhere in here, we, you have to take our word for it. We we located this, this earlier this week, a nice eddy off of Cape Lookout, creating a nice filament inshore off of Cape Lookout. Now, what I also notice is another eddy coming up from off of uh, Georgia and into South Carolina. It's going to have, you're going to take a, take a closer look at later this week. What I also notice is a nice, distinct, eastern edge of the stream off of North Carolina and South Carolina and off of also down here off of eastern Florida. Overall the overall the western edges of the Gulf Stream off of Florida are relatively stable. A few eddies off of um, Palm Beach and to Melbourne area. There's also down in the Bahamas it looks like there's some some rotation and an eddy north of Abaco and Walkers. There's some rotation up this way off of Abaco, creating some decent conditions. You'll see in the ocean color chlorophyll data in a little bit. But mainly, you know, here's your Gulf Stream. It's veering way offshore off of South Carolina, then back inshore when you get up toward North Carolina. And let's look at the ocean color chlorophyll data from the last few days as well. What I noticed in some decent filaments in shore to fish for produced mahi. There has been some marlin caught off of Cape Hatteras, blue marlin, in the last uh, week or so. So that's, that's promising. What I also notice is some nice darker blue Bahama blue marlin water that looks to be north of Abaco, northeast of Abaco, creating some decent conditions in the canyons perhaps for the weekend. We'll have to keep an eye on that as well. There's some, there's some rotation and eddies down off of Cat Island and, and Eleuthera as well. A decent eddy offshore of Key West. But yeah, the white is here is clouds. Uh, we did have some difficulty with clouds, but we could we could see the conditions pretty good for you guys to give you a quick overview for early this week. And we want to just uh, hope you have a nice Memorial Day weekend, safe and successful fishing. And we want to thank you. Ross wants to thank you for our service men and women that sacrificed their lives for our freedom, freedom to fish in the United States. So thank you so much. And we will come back at you next week.